Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be my first podcast on my channel and I thought to make it on a very uh, simple topic yet which is very relevant and uh, many of us might be struggling to overcome that. So most of us who are not very fluent speakers, they always deal with the problem which is whenever you think of speaking in English, you have to first translate it. And you know, at times it becomes really frustrating where you are, you are in front of somebody or you are appearing for an interview and there and then you have to translate in your head and then speak. So today we can discuss about uh, four small and very easy tricks and uh, strategies by which you will not require to do this. So the first thing is that uh, in whichever environment you are sitting, whichever room you are sitting, whichever place you are sitting, you start naming the objects. For example, if you are in a room, so try to find out the objects and start naming them. For example, this is a closet, this is a doormat, it's a bed. So what happens is uh, there, will be, there will be certain things in your room which will be new to you. So there will be two benefits. Number one, you will have good amount of vocabulary increased and number two will be that you will learn about the objects then you don't have to think when you're speaking because you've already spoken those objects multiple times. So number one thing would be that you start naming the objects. Number two is when you have learned the name of the objects, start translating them or start, you know, forming sentences. For example, if I say, I always make a video on my chair, uh, beside it is my table. So when you start uh, grouping these objects together and translating them into some kind of sentences, you will improve your fluency. And uh, best way is to speak it out. You know, you can even write journals if you want. But the best way to uh, work on your English is to speak. So my next point is related to this only. That when you're uh, going to do these first two points, the third would be that you should start speaking to yourself. Now, all of us cannot afford to find a tutor or all of us cannot go out and, you know, learn in the classes. So the best way is speaking to yourself. You can just tell what how your day was, what you did. And in this case, in the third point, you can even write a journal. So you can write a diary entry of your complete day. And, you know, at in the starting, you will find it difficult to find out how to correct the statements. But gradually, you will start framing them. So why I'm repeating it again and again that you have to frame sentences and you have to speak is because this is the only way how you can be fluent. See, if you watch TV series, advertisements, English channels, that's not the only thing that will help you because that is a method of taking in. But what is the output? So for the output, you will have to work hard and you put in effort yourself. So the third point would be that you start uh, speaking to yourself every five minutes a day. It's not a necessary that you uh, stand in front of the mirror and then speak. You can just speak in solo also. And the last, which is a very important point is every day try to change one object of yours into English. Now suppose if you're making a grocery list, try to make that grocery list in English. Suppose you're reading a newspaper, then please try changing that newspaper from Hindi to English. You can even change the songs. You can even, uh, you know, go to your Facebook and try out some different settings of English. So try certain things every day in English and make it a routine and try it for 30 days or even more than that. And once you feel that you're capable of doing it, then I'm sure you'll find a significant change. Thank you.